it's me and yes today I'm making a in front of the camera appearance I don't make those very often you can probably see why the lighting here is not the best but anyway I wanted to say hi and uh, show you a really quick easy and inexpensive uh, crafting thing that you can do easily so let's look down on my table to see uh, what I'm crafting. So here I am showing you a cardboard, um, it's a tray that holds cans of cat food uh, that we have to buy specially for our cat. And I just want to show you that I've been saving those trays and covering them with the various tapes that I have, uh, masking tapes, duct tapes, packaging tapes that are that are available now in all sorts of beautiful colors and designs and it's a quick way to make some trays to hold my craft supplies to carry around in my studio to carry around through the rest of my house they're they're sturdy and they just look a lot prettier than the regular cardboard so here I'm showing you I'm using a duck brand uh, fuchsia tape and a dollar store brand uh, with hearts on it for Valentine's Day. Why not? Let's make a tray for Valentine's Day for all those little Valentine's Day projects I'll be making. So here I show you that to start off uh, taping the inside part of the box, it is a little tricky to start and it would be really practical to have another set of hands but instead of having another set of hands I use a plastic palette knife. Now had I had my bone folder around I would have used that instead but I didn't know where it was and the, you know what the palette knife just worked out fine. Another thing you can use is a plastic knife or maybe a credit card even, an old credit card. It just helps to get that tape started onto the cardboard. And now I'm showing you, oh yeah, I'm using these uh, nonstick, not, uh, not knives, scissors uh, that are by Westcott. They're great to use with any type of sticky surface, especially tapes, especially duct tapes. Uh, it's not necessary to use that when you're cutting duct tape, but at least I don't have, they don't get all gummy and I don't have to, you know, worry about cleaning them up after. So there you go. This is how I started with the tape. And now that that one piece has started, it'll be easier to just keep adding the tape. Now I speed up the process because it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty boring to watch me tape an entire uh, cardboard tray here. It's repetitive, but as long as you just make sure that it's stuck down, it will stay there. And then your tray will not only be uh, pretty, it'll also be like easy to wipe down if you uh, spill anything. So it's not waterproof, but it is water repellent. So. Yeah, so there it is, covered on the inside. Now I'm trying to figure out, hmm, I want to use these hearts for Valentine's Day, so I'll have a tray for my Valentine's Day projects. And uh, this tape is from the dollar store. And I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go around the edges very simply and give it a nice border. Now when it comes to the bottom part, uh, the, uh, well, yeah, but underneath side, uh, that's optional. It's not necessary to cover it with more tape, especially if you're running low on tape. But I had the extra tape. I did it. Um, and here I'm just noticing that the tape is wider than the edge of the box, but that's great because I just snipped the corners. And what that will turn into, it'll, it'll turn into a pretty frame-like border for the bottom of the box. And I show you, I'll see how easy it is. You just fold it over and, oh yeah. And then I realized, oh wait, I want to cover this with some more of the fuchsia duct tape. And, oh, I can tuck in the ends underneath that little heart border and it'll look nice and neat. And I don't have to worry about cutting this tape straight. Then that's exactly what I do there. I lift back the edges, tuck it under, and away we go. I make these often 
uh, just because I have a lot of these tapes. And by the way, thank you, Duck Brand, for that fuchsia tape. You gave me that at CHA a couple of weeks ago. Um, I told you the story about my suitcase being like uh, I slashed or something open uh, at the airport. And uh, in order to go back home without a big gaping gash in my suitcase, uh, you gave me that roll of tape, which almost matched the color of my case. And I was able to patch up that gash and pack up my suitcase and get home safely. So thank you very much for that. And look, it makes, it's, it makes for a very pretty box now. So please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, follow me on my other social media, and come back to see some more nifty, easy crafts. Bye!